Hey guys, in today's video we're going to learn how to make this really cool crackled effect uh, on a fondant cake. So I've got some blue, now this is um, aqua coloured with royal blue from Sugar Flare. It is a lot brighter than this, it's just I was doing this at 2 o'clock in the morning so I'm relying on the lights in the house and that's why it looks a little bit dull. But you want to roll this to be maybe about a quarter of a centimetre thick. It doesn't need to be too thin because we're going to um, roll it out again. Um, I started off colouring it with some black spectrum flow but as you can see uh, it's drying very quickly and I'm get almost getting like a shadowy uh, grey kind of colouring. And so I just covered the whole uh, thing in this just to see how it would work out, see if it would get any darker and it didn't. Um, I think it's because it's got an alcohol base uh, in it, this particular one. Um, so I had some uh, chroma colours in black and I switched to their black and you'll see how um, quickly it covers. Now originally I thought that I would have to leave this to dry um, before I went over it with the blowtorch um, but obviously because you're going over it with a blowtorch you don't need to let it dry because that will dry it in itself. Make sure that you've got quite a lot of, um, whether you use icing sugar or corn flour underneath the fondant because when it gets hot it is going to get quite sticky. So you can see that with the chroma it's covered it really really quick um, and you just want to give it a good coating, try to make sure it's equal and then I've got my blowtorch and then you're just going to go over it so if you look very closely you can see where it's starting to bubble and when it's bubbling that means that that's that bit done and what you want to do is you want to do the whole of this piece with that be careful that you don't burn it because obviously um, that's going to ruin the effect but you do want to be able to um, sort of make it all bubble up like this if you was to not make it bubble up then that part wouldn't crack at all and it would affect um, the end result. So you can see we're starting to see flecks of blue underneath here and that's exactly what we want. And then you can see I've just tried to peel it up a little bit there and put some corn flour around the edges and then you are literally just going to roll. If I was doing this again I think I left it to dry maybe a couple of minutes. If I was to do this again I would leave it to dry for I would say at least five minutes kind of want to be able to touch it and when you touch it it's it's cool to touch this was still a bit warm um, but I was too eager to kind of try it out to wear so you can see at the top right hand side there where it's stretched out a little bit more that's where it's not being dried as much but I'm only covering a five inch cake with this so I don't have to use that side of it, I can use the other side um, which has got like a, a bit of a better effect in my opinion. With this one you can roll either way so you can do up and down or left to right or even on a diagonal. So I'm just going to show you the whole entire thing. And then I'm just going to cover my cake as normal. Um, so just wrap this very carefully because it is still a bit warm. Um, over the rolling pin. Now the cake that I had was covered in ganache and I've applied just a little bit of water first before um, sticking this on. Because mine was still a little bit warm it did make the ganache kind of a little bit um, softer underneath and you want to be really careful just to attach those edges first so that you don't get any rips. Now I didn't want to try and um, sharpen the corners on uh, this cake because I thought by doing the rubbing you would then rub off the cracked effect around. Um, if I was wanting to have sharp edges say for a wedding cake or something like that then what I would have done is I would have opted to do the panelling method where you put the top on first and then you do around the sides um, second. So you just want to push it into place, it is quite pliable, it does feel a little bit weird because you've got that hard skin on there. Trim off um, any excess. 
I was thinking you could probably use this for like an animal print, um, maybe like for a tiger or a zebra or something like that. And you could do it in all kinds of different colours. This one was for a Brooklyn 99 cake or a Brooklyn 99 cake. I've never watched the TV series, um, but this was one of the effects that she wanted on the cake. So just smoothing around the best I can, making sure that there's no lumps or bumps or anything like that. And then I left it to dry on um, this sheet overnight um, before I then placed it on top of the cake. So just to give you a side view, that's what it looks like. And here's the cake that I put it on. So you can see in the morning it was a lot brighter. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see more of our videos, please click the links on the screen now. Thanks for watching.